Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit on what uh, what Danny said as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and hammer down a little more of what he said. You know, you go to some churches and you listen to some preachers say, Matthew chapter 24 is what's going on now. Or they say, um, you know, they qu quote everything from Hebrews through Revelation, saying that that has to do with us, saying that that has to do with, with our rapture, with with our blessed hope. Hey, let me tell you something. That's God's prophetic program. That stuff in Hebrews to Revelation is ages to come and will not come to pass, will not happen until the body of Christ is raptured up out of here. So if your preacher is going into Matthew chapter 24, telling you that this is what's going on now, this is what's going to happen while you're here on earth, he's wrong. He's dead wrong. 100% incorrect. That is a false teaching that's incorrect doctrine, right? So you have to know where to find the verses that talk about our blessed hope, as Danny was talking about. So our rapture, Paul talks about this in two specific places. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 and 52. And then he also talks about it in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 to 18. So in order for you to understand our rapture, our blessed hope, our catching up. We're going to be caught up in the clouds to meet Jesus in the air, right? Jesus' second coming is when he comes to the earth and he establishes his kingdom, which is the bride of Christ, the holy city, New Jerusalem. Uh, you can read about that in Revelation 19 and in Revelation 21. So, you can't mix those two, and Paul does not want you to be confused. So if you go over there in, in 1 Thessalonians, I believe it's chapter 2, Paul tells you in the first two verses, hey, he doesn't want you ignorant concerning these things. And then he talks about both of them right there in those first couple of verses. I believe it's verses 1 and 2. It may be verses 1 through 4 where he, where he uh, I, I, don't, I don't have my Bible in front of me right now because I'm, I'm just pulling up at work, but you have to understand these things. And so it's easy to get confused if you're listening to a preacher who does not know how to rightly divide scripture. A preacher who is telling you something Jesus is talking about in Matthew chapter 24, which he's referring to the seven-year tribulation, um, and in the mark of the beast and all these signs, I'm here to tell you, don't be confused, right? That's why you have to understand what our apostle Paul is telling us and what he is revealing to us in his epistles, Romans to Philemon. So please don't be confused on this subject. Please, 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 please don't, 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 don't let yourself get caught up in this religious denomination and allowing these preachers to teach you incorrect doctrine. Because if their foundation is on wood, hay, and stubble, it's going to burn up. So you need to establish your, your foundation on gold, silver, and precious stones. Okay? So learn how to rightly divide scripture. And understand what's going on today. Understand what our Apostle Paul, by revelation of Jesus Christ, is giving to us today. Okay? All right, y'all. I'll let you go. I just wanted to... Man, I just listened to Danny's video, and I was like, man, I want to hammer down on that a little more. So, um, all right. Grace and peace to you guys. Have a wonderful day. And until I come at you again.